on peeps welcome back once again today i'm going to be teaching you how to edit like casey neistat the famous vlogger and it's very easy we're going to we're going to be going over the steps very carefully uh and after this video you will fully know how to edit like casey neistat all right so let's start with how to film so the first thing you need to do is to film a time lapse basically as you can see in a classic case neistat vlog there is always a time lapse so take the best camera possible in your house and go outside and place it somewhere where there's a lot of movement. For instance, I chose water and you can choose whatever you want basically. So once you've found the place to film it, make sure to place it there and hold the camera very steady. You know, you can't move it around because that will mess up the whole time lapse. So place it somewhere for about 20 to 30 minutes. Make sure to hold it very steady and I recommend to have a tripod, but if you don't have that, just hold the camera with your hand. Uh, I did that. And yeah, and this is very unfortunate. You need a good camera for this, for instance, a Canon, because you cannot choose, you know, you cannot pick your uh, phone, uh, your iPad, or anything like that, because that has very bad quality, or it depends on if it's 1920 to 1080p. If your phone is very good, uh, you know, if it has good quality, then go with that. But if it doesn't have that, I've left some links down below in the description to cameras you can purchase. Now, I personally used uh, a Canon camera. I'll leave the, you know, information about it down below in the description. Here's a little photo. I recommend to choose or, you know, use one of those cameras. Uh, otherwise, the time lapse will have very bad quality and it won't match, you know, a KC vlog or anything like that. If you don't, and if you don't have time to film your own time lapse, I've left some links down below in the description as well to uh, videos you can make into time lapses, basically speed up the videos. Uh, but if you go out and film, film your own time lapse, it will be more efficient, it will be, you know, more original, and the chances of getting a copyright strike on your channel will reduce, and yeah, that's basically how to film a time lapse. So once you're done with the time lapse, you want to go ahead and film another one, uh, but at a different location. So go somewhere else where there's a movement as well and this doesn't have to be immediately after you film the outro but i recommend to do it you know immediately after because uh you won't have to do it later on after the vlog so i recommend to just do it immediately after you've done the intro so once you're done with the time lapses for the intro and the outro you actually want to go ahead and start vlogging now i can't tell you exactly how to vlog like casey neistat like talk how to talk like him uh, how to act like him, but I can tell you some cr classic methods that he always uses in his vlogs, not always, but most of the time, and that's having different camera angles, like when you're vlogging and uh, cutting a lot. So for instance, when I was getting on my bike, uh, when I was putting on my helmet, I cut a lot, I had a camera angle from behind, one from the side, and one from when I was cycling straight forward, one from when I was holding the camera and cycling, and one from the side again. So basically have, you know, different camera angles to make the vlog like Casey's. And that's basically how you can vlog like Casey Neistat. I mean, yeah, just watch his videos and do the same thing. I mean, there's no like secret basic thing. Just watch his videos and, you know, make it like him, how to film like him. But the classic methods are basically cutting a lot, having different camera angles, and yeah, talking to the camera a lot. And guys, come on, it's a vlog, so be a little bit more happier than you usually are. Uh, be energetic, make the vlog a little bit entertaining for the viewers. Don't just sit all day on a couch and film yourself just talking to the camera. Of course, film yourself talking to the camera, interact with your fans, with your audience, and basically, when you're having a conversation with somebody, make sure to film yourself when you're talking and film them when they're talking. Like. A lot of people today on YouTube want to become vloggers and they don't know how to do it or they're doing it but they're doing it wrong. So I'm going to make a video maybe later um, explaining how to become a vlogger because there are a lot of vloggers today that do it very wrong. I'm not saying that they're bad but you know they can improve a lot more and I've you know never full on done vlogging but I certainly know how to vlog, how to become a vlogger. So yeah, I'll maybe make that video later. So there you have it guys, that is how you film like Casey Neistat. Now we're gonna move on how to edit vlogs like Casey Neistat. So jumping straight into the editing part, I'm gonna be using a software called Sony Vegas. And to those who have never edited in their whole life, uh, you can use this software if you want to. Otherwise, just choose a an editing software you're comfortable with, such as Camtasia, um, any other editing software, just if you know where every setting is located, if you know every single, single feature, or not every single feature, but if you know the basics of that editing software, just choose that one and you'll be fine. So connecting to my computer screen, I'm gonna be using Sony Vegas Pro 13 as I said, 
Now make sure to use the editing software you're comfortable with and the first thing you need to do actually is to import every single video clip to your computer and that's not hard at all, just take a USB cable that is eligible for your camera. Uh, for my case it was the PlayStation 3 USB cable charger and I plugged that into my camera and then into my computer and imported the videos very very easily. Now I'm not going to go over how to do this because it's very very simple. And if you have any issues with it, let me know down below in the comments and I'll help you out immediately. But enough of the bullcrap, let's get into the actual video. So once you've imported every single video clip to your project media in your editing software, you want to go ahead and take out the parts. So this was one of my time lapses and the water as well. Now I said before in the video that I used this water, this footage right here for my intro time lapse, but I actually used the cars because there is more movement here and it just looks better for an intro. So we cannot begin editing without a song because the song is very important. Um, so go ahead and drag it into your timeline right here in the editing software. And if you don't have, you know, if you don't know what songs to use, I've left several links down below in the description to different Casey Neistat vlog songs which you can use for this, you know, to conduct this. And uh, my song is Strawberry by Jeff Calloway something. I don't really know how to pronounce his last name. Um, but uh, yeah, let's begin. So before we start, I just want to remove the audio because in time lapses, he never has audio for the time lapses. So go ahead and remove the audio for the footage. So how to do this in Sony Vegas, only click on the uh, audio part and then click on you and then click on delete. So after that, you just want to place the audio um, of the song under it. So here we go. All right, let's just when the beat drops, that's when the time lapse is gonna you know start. So let's just listen to the song and see what happens. Let's just see where when the beat uh, appears. All right. Alright, right there. As we heard right there, there was a beat. So we need to be very careful right now. Uh, exactly when that beat drops, we're going to cut the video because that is when the uh, time lapse is going to kick off. So let's go. So let's just hear the beat one more time and then we're going to pause it. There, right there. Wait, one sec. Right there. So go right here and click. On Sony Vegas and then click split or S and once you've done that this part right here right all of this is gonna be the time-lapse uh, for a desired time and uh, go ahead first and put in the text as you can see Casey always always has text so before we actually go further we're gonna add we're gonna add the text so click right here media generators on uh, Sony Vegas legacy text and then default text and drag it in right here so let's just put it we don't want it exactly when uh, the video starts so we're gonna put it right here sample text right there and we're actually going to put in Gothenburg because this is actually Gothenburg um, Gothenburg uh, let's just have that with caps lock Gothenburg and we're gonna make that as big as possible so it covers uh, the edges right here as well because that is how Casey normally does uh, in his videos so not that big we're gonna go with about 90 uh, that fits perfectly actually and um, we're gonna use another one right now to add uh, the date the date was June uh, the 13th of June 2017 so we're gonna go ahead and copy this text letter right here by clicking on Control C and then Control V and click on select this one create a new copy of the source media and then click OK now we have it right here you want to place it below um, here we go underneath this right here or over it doesn't matter um, and we're gonna put it right here so now you actually want to go and click on this one the event pan crop right here and then you want to select that is only move in y only and then drag it down right there so there we go i want to put in the date now so click on media the generated media sorry click on that and then put in the date and the date was june 13 2017 and you actually want to increase the size of this as well um, 
because it's very important. So go ahead and put 96, uh, 95 maybe, uh, 95, like that. Basically, you know, see, it covers everything. Now this looks exactly like Casey Neistat. Now if you want to move it, you know, up a little bit, uh, click on the event pan crop thing one more time, drag everything up a little bit, and that looks dope. Uh, okay, so now he doesn't only add, he doesn't only say where he is and the date, he also says, you know, a text comes and it says, you know, Casey Neistat episode, I don't know, like 445, something like that. So have this like up to here, and then we're gonna cut both of them. So cut and cut like that. And we're gonna delete them right here and add a little space. And then we want to click Control V to add the copy. And one more time, Control V here, right here again. And then place them so they match. There we go. So before we actually do this, we wanna move this one below this one and go to the one uh, that is above and write your name. So my name is, oops, sorry. L wrong text letter, uh, I think was this one. Yeah, so write your name. Uh, my name is Armand, uh, but uh, Armanator, we're gonna go with that because that seems more legit, I mean, like, yeah, because this is my YouTube name. So we're gonna increase the size of this as well. 96, no, 97, no, 100, let's see, no. Okay, 100 is gonna, 101. There we go, that looks Casey nice dad ish And uh, we're gonna go down below right here, and we're gonna change this to the episode. So let's say this is episode 21, episode 21. And now calm down, I know this looks very dreadful. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna fix that, so add a size to uh, like about 60, no, 50. Uh, okay, that will work, that will work. Uh, so basically move it, uh, up a bit. We're gonna increase the size. Don't worry about that. Uh, so move it right here. There we go. Now, now we're gonna just gonna increase it until it covers um, the edges. So 50, no 60, uh, no. How about 57? Uh, maybe no. All right, that, that looks good. Let's go with 55. No 56, 57. Let's go with 57. So. There it is, guys, and let's just go right here and crop these so, you know, when the time lapse uh, starts, we obviously don't want the text to appear. So let's see how it looks so far. Uh, let's see right now. Okay, cool, cool. So the last thing you need to do to complete the intro time lapse is to cut the time lapse right here because you don't want it to be this long, you know, it's just weird. So cut it right here and there you go, your intro time lapse is done. So now we're going to put in our vlog footage and just go right here and drag it down. And this is my footage like me riding my bicycle and you don't have to have the audio for this. If you don't want to, just drag down the uh, gain right here, uh, oh sorry. Not the footage, just drag it down right here on Sony Vegas, and yeah, there we go. Like, and I will cut a lot right now because you know, in you know, this footage right here. So, let's see. Okay, when do I okay? Um, let's just wait. Okay, there I come. Let's wait. Uh, okay, there I am. So, I'm gonna put it right here, and um, everything has to be raw, like, no transitions whatsoever. Like, only like just cut, right? You can't have, uh, if you have like transitions like uh, fading in, it, you know, it won't be a, like a case and I stab lock, so don't have that. Um, so we're gonna put it right here so it matches exactly after the time lapse uh, I come. So let's see here. Okay. Alright, so right here, we're gonna cut right here. And then, uh, or wait, let's just watch. So we're gonna cut right here, and then we're gonna cut uh, here, when I put on my helmet, so let's see. And we're gonna cut over 
here. Uh, when I put on the helmet, let's see. Perfect, that looks really good. So we're gonna put on the helmet and then we're gonna cut when I get on my bike like that. Oh, sorry, what just happened? To undo something, if you make a mistake, uh, control Z to uh, basically undo it. So yeah. So we're gonna put it right here and let's see. So, oh my God, that's, that looks so good. Okay, so I get on my bike and we're gonna cut over when I start cycling like that. Let's watch. Okay, and then we're gonna cut when I basically go by. So let's see here. So let's watch. Oh my god, that, that looks so good. We're gonna cut one more here because we're a Casey Neistat pros. Uh, and there we go. So the rest you can delete, so delete. Um, let's see here. Okay, let's see. No, that was bad. Um, I just cut one more here. One sec. Um, so basically, you know, cut the way you want. I'm just cutting this because it's my footage. But if you want to cut, cut. I mean, it's very important to cut in KC vlogs. Like, it's crucial. So do it. I mean, why not? And cut right here. So like that. Okay, perfect. So there we go. We are done with footage one or camera angle one. So we're gonna go on and move on to camera angle number two. And that one is behind, from behind like this. Um, let's just move this loop right here. So this is the camera footage number two, I guess. Yeah. And we're gonna start actually cutting it from this point. Uh, let's just see here. Okay. We're gonna start cutting here, like, because I passed the camera and it's very, it's more logical if I'm over here than here. So let's just cut over like that. Okay, perfect. We're gonna start cutting from here. So let's see. Oh my God, this loop thing is literally frustrating. Uh, so go back here and cut a lot more. Like, okay, let's just add a little bit more uh, like that. And repeat the same process with the remaining video clips. Just cut them like I did and basically make them as good as possible for your vlog. All right, so once you've put in all of your video clips, all of your camera angles and all that, it's time for the intro. So put in your, um, the, uh, the other time lapse that you filmed right here. So it matches with the, uh, the last footage and you want to remove the audio. And if you're using Sony Vegas, just click on you once you've selected the audio and then just click on delete. So after that, you just want to speed this up for a uh, time lapse like that. Oops. So go right here, click on hold control and then just drag it in very slowly like that. And therefore you have now um, a time lapse. So you want to cut this like over here. So you want to have it for a good amount of time. And once you, once it's plain and black, this is where you're gonna add like episode 21 is now over or episode 21 is over. So go right, go up here. And as you can see, we, uh, we already have episode 21 right here. So you don't have to write it again. So episode 21 and you want to move this up a little bit because underneath this one, uh, we're going to add is over because, you know, Casey does, does that. So go up here and place it, place the, uh, the other text layer above it. So click on control V to paste another text layer and create a new copy of the source media. So go, there we go. And this is going to be after the, um, when it's plain black. So fix that. And now you want to remove, or you want to move this Gotham brick thingy, uh, underneath, uh, episode 21 and you want to add is over. Oops, not Nover, is over. So move 21, episode 21, up a little bit and is over should be right over here. So let's see. And you wanna increase the size of it, of course, and uh, just add like a big size that covers like everything. So, okay, not that big, 160. Uh, okay, that will work, uh, 161. Uh, 165 maybe 164 
three am I? Okay, perfect. So move episode 21 up here. There we go. Look at that. It looks like Casey Neistat's vlog. So that is how you do it. So there you have it guys. That is how you vlog, film, and edit like Casey Neistat. Now make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you learned something from this video that is not that hard editing like a professional vlogger. I mean, just have different camera angles and cut a lot in the vlogs and just be yourself basically. So thanks for watching once again. If you have any issues with this tutorial, let me know down below in the comments and I will help you out. And apart from that, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.